welcome. Welcome. Come on, Kela. Salut, Kela. Konzela. Wap Kela Kile. To the 154th state of the puppet nation. Let's get it on. This week, fees have not fallen. Where is the government? The Commonwealth Games haven't quite fallen. We are losers. And Trump hasn't risen. Some pussies don't want to vote for me, but they're wrong. All this and more. But first, this. And it finally happened. A warrant for Provin Gordon's arrest was finally issued. Our finance minister has been accused of committing fraud in establishing the so-called rogue unit. I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. Go to court, you mean? Let me start at the start and then take it away. My name is Gordon Pravin J. That's Pravin with a Ravin and a capital P. Then God plus H A N. That's me. Is he doing the Batman? He's finally broken. Introductions aside, let's move right along. You can all sing along at the sound of the gong. What? If you can't beat them, join them. Once upon a time, in fact, earlier this week, trouble was brewing. I was starting to freak. Twitter was buzzing. NPA was accusing. Supposed to go to court, but now I was refusing to give it to these fools and their intrusion. And now I'm watching the rant take a bruising. But the buzz kept buzzing. You tell them justice. You kept cussing. Tell them to go jump, but they kept coming. Opened my door and to my surprise, there stood a policeman with guilt in his eyes. I was chilling. He was yelling, face all the stall, cause he was propelling. Get up, go to court, move it on the double. Cause if you don't, you're in deep, deep trouble. 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 Well, I'm glad we're taking this so seriously. made her last week in office memorable. The public protector called out the president for trying to delay the state capture investigation until she had left office. Remember me always, Jacob, well? I think the whole country will. You came in like a wrecking ball. And 
I will go out like one, two, Justice. I don't really know what that means, but uh, cool. Just remember this. Trust nobody whose name begins with a J. Hey! Or ends with an A. Hey! You are welcome. Okay, I'm ready. Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu has said that when his time comes, he wants the right to decide that his time has come. Yes, Deborah, I, you know, I'm a big fan of assisted suicide, and so is God. Aren't you God? Yes, just as I thought. Sorry, did God actually reply? Oh, yes, we chat all the time, you know. He's my, what, what do you call, uh, BFF. And your bestie supports assisted suicide? Why would he want me to suffer? You're not a meanie, are you, God? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Sorry, private joke. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I mean... This is a very serious topic, but... but... Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> he just... He won't stop... He won't... He won't stop making me laugh. <laughs> you were saying? Uh, actually, no, I, I think I'm done saying. <laughs> and now we turn to Acting Police Commissioner Khomotsa Pahlane, who recently weighed in on the Fees Must Fall movement. Patane has called on media to report events more objectively without resorting to sensationalism. This isn't the first time journalists have been criticised for their coverage of sensitive subjects. Has sensationalism become a reflex? I want you to look at the card and tell me what you see. Bread pans in a fiery inferno. Mm -hmm. A man buys a possessed apple, dies young, leaving two innocent children. Mm -hmm. Self-riding bicycles are reality. Millions of cyclists out of work. Okay, maybe let's try some word association. I'll say a word, and you say the first thing that comes to your mind. House. Pay back the money. Hmm. Tap. Wikileaks. Cat. Catastrophe. We're all going to die. Today. <sighs> Still on fees must fall, it seems that there are no easy answers to this university question. At this, this week, a bus banned, a priest was shot, and fees did not fall. It was only a rubber bullet. Uh, I'm sorry, what? We only shot him with a rubber bullet. <laughs> you should mention that because... We're all waiting. Orders, orders. Are orders. Now, where have we heard that before? We are just the men on the ground. The face! Yes, and why are you the face? Shouldn't Blade or Ozuma or even Pravin be the face? Uh, Pravin's kind of busy. But yeah, where is the government? You know, it, it, it's almost like they don't want these universities open. Like they don't want this sort of challenge. These people questioning the fucking weird, man! Oh well, let's go sort this lot out. Rubber bullet ready? Debra? Yes. I was reading this week about a guy who became a model at 80. Uh, a scientific model? No, man, a runaway model. Strutting his stuff. Uh, oh, uh, no. Uh, no what? No, I don't think you should take up modeling as a sideline career. I didn't say a word. You were posing, Justice. No, I was not. Shikata. I can still see you. Shikata. In Saudi Mutsaneng news this week... Ah, uh, we... are we still talking about him? Yes, we are. Oh. But just wait till you hear who got in on the act. Cope have decided to try and remind everyone they exist by taking Saudi to court. Saudi believes that when your time is up, you, you must realize your time is up and step away from the golden spotlight. Uh, give to Saudi like Saudi gave to you. Step out of the spotlight. Do you actually mean that... He means cope, Justice. It is a tragedy when people outstay the welcome like a rotten ant at Christmas. It really is, isn't it? Shawudi didn't even realize these Shawudi haters were still a thing. Like bacon. Wait, Shawudi will sing for you. Ah! I have to ask. Do, do you, you really have to ask? Yes. What are you collecting money for? Shawudi is collecting money so Shawudi is ready. If zombie party cop can come for Shawudi, anybody can come for Shawudi. But Shawudi is watching. Shawudi is always watching. Hmm? Everybody seems to be preparing for the death of the ANC. 
Some would say prematurely. The SACP are the latest to speak out about what they would do if ANC are captured. We are facing a problematic pedagogic position where some ANC comrades are pseudo-communist in communist cabalistic attire but speak corporate cataclysmic conjecture. Mr. Nzimande, don't you have more pressing issues to deal with in the state of the ANC? If we were in charge, the parasitic bourgeoisie would be eradicated. What could be more pressing? As I have previously stated, when the ANC fails to uh, win the outright majority in the next elections, we uh, are ready to welcome them with open arms, provided they change their name and do whatever we say. Well, that certainly seems highly likely, doesn't it? If we were in charge, the uh, ANC would be a thing of the past, but communism would still be our only future. No, no, no. I have been giving this matter a lot of thought, and if we were in charge, things would be very different around here. Hi, Mangwede, you are in charge. No, 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 wait. I, I, I want Uncle Quizzy to tell us how things would be different. There would be fewer... Uh, no, no, no. The country would be more... No, no, no. Devon may be about to lose their 2022 Commonwealth Games. Our athletes have reached a new low if we can lose six years before the tournament. Not lose sports-wise, lose as host nation. Durban just isn't cutting it. Who's that I'm bad in honor of? My magnificent dreams and astronomical aspirations. Why exactly are the games in danger? We haven't organized an organizing committee or made payment or signed a contract. We are losers. Sounds like you need a kick up the butt from someone who's really good at being in charge. Someone who likes bossing people around. Yes, yes, Justice. This is indubitably what we need to razzmatazify this auspicious occasion. But where will we find such an individual? Here I am. I'm ready. And now on to Tswane Mayor Solim Simanga. It's been just over two months since the DA's Simanga took office and recently he spoke to the press saying that he's experienced the good, the bad and the ugly of the job. In with us now is former DA leader and current Western Cape Premier, Helen Zille. Thanks for having me, Justice. Uh, okay. Mr. Manga spoke of hostility that he and his administration have faced. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Well, nothing like the threats in... You mean the one available on takealot.com? Could be worse. She could have bought a book and done a reading. Yes. <laughs> a reading? Please, Justice, what do you take me for? I'm doing a dramatization. Take it away! Hi, I, I, I'm Simpiwe. I'll be playing the role of Mazibogo. <laughs> um, hi, I, I, I'm, I'm Helen. Okay. Mm. okay. Stay out of caucus politics, Helen! You have no business in it! Uh, after everything I've done for you, Lindywe, how could you? Hey, Bo, you know nothing, Helen. Zile. Bravo! Bravo! Do you have a product that needs selling? Maybe cement. Cement. It's so strong and grey. Or milk. Milk. It is so white and tasty. Or even a new car. A new car. It is so shiny and new. Whatever your product, black men singing can mark it for you. Black men singing can make anything seem authentic. Genetically modified foods, so natural and healthy. Black men singing instantly connects you to a black demographic. Rye bread is not only for the white people. So hire black men singing today and turn your product into an instant success. Black men singing, we are cliche but we are awesome. Um, hey guys, do you think you could... DA is not just for the white people. You know, normally I'm so terrified to go to old news, you know, in case it's the worst days of apartheid. But now all I can think is, 
It won't be Trump. Hooray! Let's see what not Trump Rian has for us today. Debra, justice. Even the brightest of days can be made somehow brighter by your sudden appearance. Ah, oh, thanks, Rian, you chocolate-covered essence of joy. Hi, Rian. How are you today? Very well, thanks, Justice. Although I'm a little bit tired, Matthias is in hospital, you see. Huh? The hospital? I is he okay? Don't worry, Justice. He's fine. There's just been some complications with his medication. What sort of complications? Well, Deborah, he seems to be putting on a lot of weight. Again, I ask, how is that even possible? Some medicines do that, Debra. You should have seen me when I was on cortisone that one time. Ooh. But Matthias is a Tamagotchi. Hey, Debra, Tamagotchis are people too. No, no, they literally are exactly not. Don't be ethnocentric, Debra. You know what? Okay, I give up. Rian, when are you taking us today? Well, Debra, it was 32 years ago that Bishop Desmond Tutu was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his role in the struggle against apartheid. And needless to say, he wasn't exactly congratulated by the nationalist government. Let me take you back. Good evening, Goeienaand. Bishop Desmond Tutu, Secretary General of the South African Council of Churches, has been awarded this year's Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Committee said the bishop is a unifying leader in the campaign to resolve the problem of apartheid in South Africa. Bishop Tutu, Welcome and congratulations. <laughs> uh, it was nothing really. You know, I'm I'm not worthy. With all respect, I beg to differ, Bishop Tutu. You've sacrificed a great deal for your cause, and may I also say I'm a big fan. Big fan. What the bloody Madonna the hell is this? Oh, flip. Tutu, you bloxum. Haven't I banned you already? Well, you did throw me in jail once. Because you're a communist. Actually, I oppose communism. Kreewagen, you brute fryer. I did not give you permission to put this black bastard on television. President Brutta. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to saying that. President Brutta. President Brutta. I take it you oppose the Nobel Council's decision. I oppose everything, Kreewagen. That's why I'm the president and you have to dress up like a bunny to pay the rent. That was a long time ago and besides the point. <clears throat> but surely even you have to acknowledge that Bishop Tutu has done much to promote peace and reconciliation. I'll try my best. Peace and reconciliation? Those are fighting words that have no place in South Africa. Apartheid is a crime against humanity. Well, it's not a crime against me. Vrachis, that's very telling. Bonikrewagen, I order you to stop this broadcast with this terrorist. He's not a terrorist and you can't order that. Can't I now? Well, just you wait. You are the terrorist here, Mr. Porter. Listen. You're going to get a letter from me. You hear me? A letter! <laughs> like so? <laughs> Kablooey! Uh, you do realize other people can see you, right? Shut your face, bunny! Oh, what a horrible man! Yeah, I, I'm getting really concerned. As if I was you, I'd be worried too. Wait, wait, what do you mean? About what? About the US. Why? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Nothing. N no, seriously. Tell me what you mean. It, it's just I'd be really worried if I was you. About what? Oh, come on, Justice, you know. No, man, I, no, no, I don't. Stop this. Okay, let's just cross to Scott at our US desk. Is it my health? Do, do you know something I don't? Is it my face? Tell me, Deborah. <sighs> Here's Scott. Tell me, Debra. And I'm so happy to see Scott. Tell me, Debra. Shut up. It's increasingly astonishing to me that anybody in this country would consider voting for Donald Trump. And yet I am told they are out there, these mythological Trump voters, and their average income is $70,000 per month or enough to buy a three-bedroom house in Syracuse, New York, every month. Mr. Trump, why do these people support you? I like to grab them by the Whoa, Mr. Trump, that's rather extreme. I would have thought that that would make people less likely to vote for you. Some don't want to vote for me, but they're wrong. Just ask my family. I like to grab them by the 
your family? That's right. They're my most loyal supporters. They're really, really great. And they're out there right now campaigning, grabbing voters by the... I think there's something wrong with me. It sounds like everything you're saying is about grabbing people by the... Grab them by the... Maybe it's some sort of mental block I have. That phrase getting caught in my brain like... Grab them by the... You'd think it would lose some of its effect like when you say fuck a lot. Like, fuck that f***ing or Trump for f***ing fuck's sake. But it really is still very jarring. Grab them by the... $70,000 a month, Trump supporters. How much does common sense cost? Staying with the election because other news, it seems like many people still need to be told Bill Clinton isn't running for president. So in case you missed it, Bill Clinton isn't running for president. Hello, America. Boy, do you look good. Bill, stay on script. I just wanted to say that I'm not running for president. Hillary is. <laughs> hey, that sounds like hilarious. Bill! Oopsie daisy. So you need to vote for Hillary and not for Trump. But Hillary didn't have affairs and shit. That was all me. The email thing was all her, though. I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vote Hillary. Yeah. I'm with her. Yeah. She isn't with me, yeah. even though she uh, is still with me, uh, surprisingly. Yay, me! So apparently we've all lost our minds. Back to you in South Africa. Russian President Vladimir Putin received a peace prize this week. This will be the very first Hugo Chavez peace prize awarded by the Venezuelans. Look at me. I am so peaceful. Yes, that's always the first word I associate with you. I am visiting France, even though they want to arrest me for war crimes. That's how peaceful I am. Yeah, I don't think the people of Aleppo would consider you that peaceful. Well, they are wrong. I bring so much peace to them, I'm even dropping it on them as we speak. <laughs> Shut up, fucking noisy bastard <laughs> stuff. <laughs> peaceful. Whatever you do, don't coo. You see? Peace at last. Cr -cr 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 -cr. Drive a person fucking insane. So there you have it, folks. Our phones may explode. Our students may explode. And any day now, the US might elect Trump, then we'll all explode. This has been the 154th state of the puppet nation. Goodbye. Bye. Just try not to die today. I thought I wrote a good report. I did my job. I had to try to think objectively. I thought the facts no one could deny. Don't you ever say I support DA. I respected you. To have a crawl and a chicken run too. I came in like a.